Gemini, you are expanding and, and breaking free of all of your data points and all of your data knowledge around how you feel. So Gemini's clog up their arteries by constantly creating like almost all these files in their, in their cell. Virgo is how they feel. And so they create all this, I have this feeling and this feeling, that feeling, this feeling, and they just store it like as a data record inside themselves. And ultimately, suddenly they are drowned by the data or depressed by the data. The data is the time mom did this, the time dad did this, this time, this time, that time, this time. I know because I'm a father of a Gemini. So I've seen it up close, but I've also known other Geminis who will tell me the same thing when I talk to them. All these reasons why they feel the way they do. And you guys get stuck in the reasons and you never free yourself from the feelings because your brain is firing off and getting, getting off, frankly. You love to think. You're getting off on all the details you get to think about when it comes to that. So you, it's time to defrag that emotional hard drive. It's time to let it go and let it flow. Forgive, let the data go, delete it, reformat the hard drive. How you think about your feelings, clean slate. <clears throat> now, part of the reason for this is <clears throat> the Pisces side of this is you've, as a result of your emotional pain that you ignored, you made a lot of bad decisions. A lot, a lot of bad decisions. I shouldn't have bought that Ferrari when I was only 10. Shouldn't have, you know, all these bad decisions that led you down the wrong paths that made you maybe not happy. Geminis that I meet, they're not necessarily happy with their career, where their career is gone. I'm not saying anything's happened. I'm saying you, karma. You went running off in those career directions because you were running away from your pain <clears throat> and running away from your emotions. You'd rather do the data. <clears throat> so this whole week is about removing those all those ideas and facts and data about what you how you feel. And it's okay. So what? I screwed up. So what? And give yourself that. I don't care. I'm not going to. It's not going on my record because I said so. I felt so. And so it is. That's ultimately what happened? You just do a data dump <laughs> and let go of anything, any mistake, any bad choice. Who cares? We'll just call it beta. That's the beta version of you. And we'll move on to the next alpha or whatever. Now, Jupiter is in your sign. This is why I wanted to redo the horoscope, make sure I did it right. You have unlimited possibilities about what you can do right now. You are so fired up. Jupiter is giving you all sorts of ideas. Basically, Jupiter is just giving you a firestorm, a brainstorm of all potential Oh, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. It's, it's literally freeing you from your own mental neural networks <clears throat> and your associated ego behavior that comes with it. So you have to think right, you have to act right, you have to forgive your mistakes and you have to feel good. That's the ultimate connection. And you'll find that if you misbehave with yourself or you misbehave with others, it's going to sort of create this huge stomach, kind of in the stomach issue because you know you're not doing and thinking for what's best for your feelings and for your career and where you're going. But ultimately, it's about getting deep with how you feel about yourself and letting it go. It's Siri.